Hey guys, so today's video is how to unlock the AS Val Second Assault DLC weapon. You need to complete the co-pilot assignment now. I'm not too sure if this is intended by DICE, but you don't actually need to wait for Second Assault to come out to unlock this weapon. And it's the only weapon from Second Assault where you don't need to complete the task on one of the new maps. Also, please note, I've read a few people saying that they can't unlock this weapon on the PlayStation 4 and possibly the rest of the consoles however pc is confirmed to be working i just want to start off by saying if your style of playing is a lot of run and gun close combat action then you're going to fall in love with this gun i would even say it's almost probably the best close combat weapon in the game currently and to the point that it might actually be a little bit too strong but i'll let you guys decide that as for the assignment it's relatively easy to complete it can be done a lot quicker with one of your mates on TeamSpeak or whatever, but you should be able to get it done in a few matches. As for the assignment tasks, you need to spend 10 minutes in any helicopter, which you may need to be done all in one match. I'm not too sure. It's not confirmed, I'm not 100% sure. And also you need to get 10 squad repairs. Now there's a lot of confusion of what exactly is a squad repair. I myself don't know 100%, so please guys, if I'm wrong, tell me in the comment section. But from what I've learned in game, you need to repair to full HP any vehicle, tank, helicopter, or boat while a member of your squad is driving. It's really important your squad mate isn't just in the gunner seat or whatever. He actually needs to be driving, and you need to make sure you repair that particular vehicle, helicopter, or boat to full HP. Also, squad repairs aren't the same as normal repair ribbons, so if you do see that repair ribbon indicator on the top of your screen, it doesn't mean you are making progress on the assignment. Also, I'm pretty sure you don't need to do all 10 squad repairs in one game. I'm not too sure why DICE need to be so vague with the assignment descriptions. It would make things so much more easier if they were a bit more detailed with it. Just to make things a little bit more quicker, make sure you've equipped the mechanic field upgrade. Uh, I think it's about a 35% increase to how fast you can repair. To get the 10 squad repairs, all I did was I literally was just spawning on one of my squad members in hoping he was in a tank or helicopter or some kind of vehicle and I was just repairing it every single time I got damaged and I think it took me about three or four matches before I actually achieved the 10 squad repairs. As for the 10 minutes in the helicopter, seeing as there's so much bloody anti-air weapons in this game, I had to take the selfish path and I took a helicopter and flew it to a part of the map that is far away from the combat and simply just sat in it for 10 minutes. I did this because I wasn't too sure if the 10 minutes all had to be done one single match or it could be done over multiple games. Another tip is if you and a friend can jump in an attack helicopter, you being in the gunner seat, you can rack up the 10 minutes flight time and as well repair the helicopter on the ground if you need it. That should complete the assignment relatively quickly. Now, I'll be doing a proper review of the ASVAL in the near future, but for now, I'll just give you guys a quick overview. Now, it's a PDW weapon, so it can only be used by the engineer class. Like I said before, the gun is made for close quarters combat and will completely, literally, completely shred your opponents into a million friggin' pieces in about a second or so. Its fire rate is 900 RPM and not only does it shoot quickly but it also has a 30, yes 30 close range damage per bullet which is 5 more than a assault rifle. However the drop off damage starts at 8 meters and comes to 17 damage per bullet after 50 meters. So obviously this gun is the, well you could pretty much say this gun is the ultimate close quarters combat gun but it's not very good for medium and long ranges. I had a little bit of a play with the weapon and I was really struggling to take our targets at the kind of longer ranges but I didn't have any attachments unlocked so that's probably why. Also please note that the ASVAL comes with a silencer, you cannot change a barrel. It has no barrel attachments. The silencer is on permanently. It also has 21 bullets in the magazine, including one in the chamber. So you're going to be reloading quite a lot. 
However, its uh, tactical reload speed is only 1.95 seconds and an empty reload speed is 3 seconds. And just a quick note, its upwards recoil is 0.4 degrees, left is minus 0.4 and right is minus 0.1 degrees. So it's not too bad, but it does have a sh first shot multiplayer of 3.5, which is really big. So you really need to be careful that first shot recoil. Also, I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure the gun has a kind of strong kick to the right, so just be careful of that as well. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my ASVAL unlock guide, and I hope you have learned something new from watching this. If you'd like to talk to me about anything in this video, please leave a comment. If you would like to see more of this content from me in the future, please be sure to subscribe before you go. So take care, and I'll see you next time.